So this is my new approach. I'm doing uh, six volt batteries, kind of like golf cart batteries, and I'll connect two of them in a series to get 12 volts. But um, this is, I'm, you know, mocking a, a flooded lead acid battery with this. I took the lid off. But um, this is uh, three cells with, I think, about 13 plates in each one, roughly. And I used a little mini waffle maker to mold the plates out of uh, recycled lead that I got from dead batteries. And um, so that's the initial charge. I'm using about 7.2 volts. And the current, the 1.49 amps, will drop down over a day or two until it gets closer to zero. And then I'll um, put a load on it. So this is another 6 volt battery. This is me trying to replicate like an AGM battery or non spillable. I think they call them absorbed glass mat. Um, I've already given this its current charge as my second load test. That's a small DC motor running a pump. And um, what I did is I have um, about 13 plates, same as the other one. And um, they pretty much have five, like little microscopic fiberglass compressed into a mat, a thick mat. It's almost like, I, I mean, I'm just using thick paper towels. but And I, I used a, a layer of this stuff, which is just the, the regular fiberglass sheets and paper towels. So it's pretty thick and it holds the sulfuric acid. But this thing has been running for about an hour and a half, and it's maintaining about 6.36 volts. So there, you see that? If I let go, I put it back on there. 6.36 volts. And when I disconnect it, it rebounds up. But uh, 6.4 is a full charge, considered full charge for a 6-volt battery. And when it gets down to six, it's considered dead. So this thing, I, it's got a ways to go. Okay, so I disconnected my little pump. And I have these uh, three electric motors. They're bigger. And we're going to put this thing to the test. Let me see. Uh, it rebounded up to about 6.5 volt, 6.55 or something. So let's put this thing to the test. Six point three seven. These three motors will uh, obviously work it a lot better. Now this is three motors from the little, the little uh, six volt electric cars for kids. Um, and it just ran forever, man. You see the volts dropping it, but I have it on like eight times the speed. And it's just trickling down. It settled out at about 6.16 volts, and I ran it for about an hour. And I finally just unhooked it, and it rebounded up to about 6.42 volts, man. So I'm just amazed by how good this thing did, man. Uh, literally amazed. So here in a minute, I'm going to show where I pick back up recording because I let the thing run and run and run, and it just sat at 6.16 volts. It was crazy. This is like 15, 20 minutes later after letting it run, it's just sat at 6.16 volts. I had to show this. It's a, a pretty damn good battery. I disconnected for a second. It still rebounds a damn near full charge. Crazy. Yeah, okay. 